how do you avoid tripping on all of the toys in your house? And that is really difficult since I have a three-year-old and a one-year-old. There are toys everywhere all the time. But I employ this kind of like shuffling motion with my feet when I'm going through my house. I kind of drag them a little bit instead of doing like heavy stomping or a lot of quick walking, especially when I'm in a toy zone. And that means my living room and my daughter's bedroom. I try to keep the toys in there just for safety purposes for myself, but sometimes they do wander into the kitchen. The other night I found a dump truck in there. And as soon as I find them, I try to move them out, but it does happen a lot where I will trip, especially on larger items like the dump truck or a tricycle. And part of it, that's just kind of how it is when you're a blind person, you'll get used to pretty fast having bruises on your knees, your shins, stubbing your toes. Uh, one time, just, it doesn't even have to be toys. Um, I kind of misjudged where I was in my bedroom and I slammed my foot into the metal bar underneath my bed. And I thought I broke my toe. Like it was really, really bad. But, you know, that's just kind of part of it. If you're living, you're moving, and you're moving, you're getting hurt. That's just kind of how it is. And it's just something that you can overcome. It'll be fine. Just try anyway and, you know, just learn to dodge toys. It's fine.